Okay, so... I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. <clears throat> I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Right, I'm getting quite concerned about this lag, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna save the game quickly. Wait one sec. Uh, how do I don't want to save the game. Is it this? Ah, uh, settings. The bean settings, should not. There we go. Save the game. Yeah, I'm getting quite concerned about this. My oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Oh. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Wow. Oh, wait, over here. <clears throat> I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Uh... Let me <laughs> Let... Oh, for fuck... Really? Sorry. Sorry. I thought I could do a little bit more. Like, I heard that you could be good at evil. Look, from the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Wow. Tooth and Sugarfoot. Bruh. What are we staring at? Huh? So there That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. <laughs> it's, it's off limits. <laughs> The professor's oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more ado. Ah, oh, for books. Pass that ruin. This is some bull. I want to, like, go do shit my own. I can't do that? Why? I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in oh, class, my days. much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. This lag is driving me mad. I don't know why this keeps happening. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. 
Hopefully it will for you too. <gasps> One sec. Yay. Kitty cat. Meow meow meow. Best part of the game this. Until I can fly. Arrgh. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Love you so. Good luck to both of you. Really? Oh, Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. Revelio. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Okay, so can I speak? I feel like I can't speak that much. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Right. I'm getting really concerned about this lag. I think I might have to change a few settings in the game. I'm not going to lie. The performance is really, really difficult to deal with right now. Oh wow, I can go get my hair cut. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's go in here then. No. Oh my days, I can't concentrate with this lot. What the hell's going on? Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and you want. And of course, you will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Thank you. Right, now I need to... Don't you dare. Go there. Get that wand. Let's get the wand done. So, because I still feel like um, it may potentially crash again on me. But I'm not losing any of my progress because I'm telling you now, walking around. There we go. Oh. My days. What the hell? Uh, guys, I'm so sorry about this. I don't think it'd be this bad. Kitty. Levioso. Levioso. Accio. 
Akio. No, 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 get out of here. <laughs> got the cap. Uh, how the fuck? Revelion. Reveal what you have. Uh, can I not? Can I not play the game? Okay, I'm in a different shop. I feel like there's a lot of issues with this game already. Okay, so, candy store. Fucking hell, I didn't realise this was so far away. It would be the furthest though, wouldn't it? The question is, can you swim? What the hell? I need a new wand. Isn't this where you come? I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a Diracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Uh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Huh. Finally. I'll have enough black wind with you. Ah, well, not meant to be like this. Oh, Father, you're not waiting. Okay, so is this where I have to go, or what the hell? Is there another way in? Why is this all locked up? I need to get a wand, so where do I go for this wand? Right, okay, I must be at the wrong place. Right, what is this? Oh. Oh shit. Magic needed. Where the f Oh. Oh fuck. Short call. Fuck call time. You might as well watch it. Shut up. I'm coming! Go for my what? Uh, wall that. Uh. Parkour! Parkour! Uh, glitch! Uh, broke! Game! Shit. Oh my days. Guys, this lag is unbelievable. I've never played anything. Before, oh finally, I get a wand. Give me a wand. Give me a fucking wand. I want to. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, it's me. Just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Uh... Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. Ten and a what? Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. 
this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, the one uh, above you. Oh, hmm. No, maybe. Perhaps. Yes. Uh, a rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Thirteen inches. I'm gonna beat someone to death with it. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh goodness! Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, but dragon this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Right, um, it's a stick. It's a... Uh... Okay. What kind of wood? How intriguing. No, I want dark wood. No. 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 <laughs> Stick. Curious indeed. Hmm. Ooh. I do like that. How intriguing. No, it's hard actually. Spiral. Honey brown. Curious indeed. I like that. Okay, so what's this? What type? How intriguing. Ash. Length. Curious indeed. Wait. Fifteen inches and a half. Flexibility. Ooh. How intriguing. I'll stick that in. Mm. Dragon's heart. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. That's what we want. What do you think? <sighs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. Ooh. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Happy days. That was... Uh, please don't break. Thank you kindly. Yeah, so, I think the game's about to break again, oh my days. So, we have a brand new wand. Fifteen and a half inches, guys. What can I say? Uh, potentially not too much. <laughs> oh my days. 
There we go. Gotta keep saving. So. What is this place? Brooms. I just wanna fly on a fucking broom. I wanna fly, this is bullshit, why can't I do that? <sighs> It's a good thing we have auras, is all I'm saying. I find myself scurrying her with that news, man. Lumos. Potato. Potato. Oh. Potata. Person. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh it's quite unique. Ooh, hairdressers. Let's go let's go get a haircut. Seems I do need a haircut. It's um even in real life, I'm not gonna lie. I would probably say my hair's a hell of a lot more longer than that in real life. It's about you know where the end of that hood goes, that little point, it's probably about there. My hair's too damn long, I'm not gonna lie. Give us a, uh, give us a boss cut, love. Um, what's with the lag? Don't you dare be slurping your Hello. tea. Oh, come in, come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry, and I'm here, thriving. Absolutely thriving. Uh... But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Um... A change? Why not? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Uh. What services do you offer? What is it you might be interested in? So my hair. Right, okay. Okay, my eyebrows. I can change my eye colour. What is my eye colour? Yeah, it's green. It's pretty much my eye colour. Oh, so it's the same hairstyles you pretty much are given at the start. So you don't do anything unique, it's just the same. Well, I look weird with short hair. This is why I'll never have short hair. Um. Uh. Oh my. Uh. No. Mm, no. I mean, I used to have that. I'm not gonna lie. Proper man bun back in the day. I would say closest to my hair is. Uh. Where the hell? I can't even see properly. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got here. Really? Um, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is it. This is all it offers. Could be more than this, but. Uh, nah, there was a style at the start of the game, what I saw, 
what was very similar to my style. Oh, there it is. There we go. This is pretty... To make it easier, this is pretty much what I got in real life. Shaved around the sides. Usually it's completely shaved around the sides to the point of where I'm bald. Around the sides. Proper straight down. It's that, at the moment, on the sides with this length. Well, longer than that. At this point, I might as well just keep my head the same as this. Could be the... I don't know about that, like... Oh, hang on a second. Oi. No. Oh, fucking hell, I look ace. Um... I don't know, like, it's weird. Nah, what the fuck is that? Nah, I think we're gonna keep with what we've got, I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I'm alright, I, I thought you would I mean, at least I know I can change my eyebrows. I put scars on my face, does not change my eye colour, but... I thought to make the character at least look like me a bit. Right, let's see whereabouts I need to next go. I need to go to the... Oh, I can read the map easy enough, so I need to go... I fucking hope I can read this well. What is this place? Do we need anything Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Eh, yeah, wow. Well. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for lie. all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion-making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and... I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Aye, let's get the recipes. What can I do for you today? Oh, do you know what? Give us all of it, mate. Do you know? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what I want. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yeah, I'm kind of in a little rush. I do apologize. Oh, chest. I just got a new outfit. No way. Wait, if I can change my clothes, get in there. What's this? Uh. Is. Does it do anything for you? Any... Um... I mean... Nah, I'll keep on that until I get something better. Be official, proper, Hogwarts. 
We'll keep it that way. My ankle is killing me. Oh my days. Uh, it spins. Okay, next up we have... Here. But I feel like I need to go here. What's this? Clothing shop for. I don't think I actually have any money whatsoever. I've been. Have I been there? I think I need to go there, don't I? I need to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radio, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, my audio just went then. Akio. Akio, bum. Wait, can I? Oh, yes, mate. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh no. Give me the page. <laughs> well, hello there. Oh, well. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Well, no Starting shit. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Why, thank you kindly, Let me guess. Yes, sir. You're after something fresh. Fresh on the market. Do have a look around. <laughs> Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah, no. Visit. What the fuck is that? Scrolls. But I can't read. Let me have a look. Scrolls. Ah, there we go. And we can just leave. Move, peasants! I am the great dead! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Ha! Oh. The game's like, you really trying to break this? Ha ha! Sound. Oh shit, no wait. No, wait. Bro, come on, man, what the hell? This game doesn't cease but to amaze me. How fucking broken. It's obviously my computer, I know it is. An inquiring mind. Yeah, 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 shut up. I just want to fly on a broom. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? Potentially, yes. I, do. I believe so, sir. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Uh, Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. Uh, 
if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I would, sir, but the issue is I don't have many... Well, that's everything. Things. Better go and find Natty. Hmm. Yeah, where the hell is she again? Let's get a butter beer! Butter beer, butter beer, butter beer, butter beer, butter beer, butter beer. Ah! No. <laughs> Completely confused him. Body beer, body beer, body beer, body beer, body beer, body beer. Uh, I nearly broke the game. <laughs> oh no, please don't. No, 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 no. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, nah, mate. Nah, 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 nah. My Oh my days. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Why is it lagging? How in the fuck? God, no, why is it lagging like this? What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it, Dumas! My days. Like that much, the guy just uh, went. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we oh, were sorry. glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed. Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Um... I have to fix everything. Repair her. Wait. 
No, 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 the cat's not dead. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Is that? Uh, I'm not even gonna ask what the fuck that is. Repair room. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I've pretty much done her fucking job. So yeah. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. What else am I repairing? Um oh. Repair her. That's pretty obvious. Right. Oh shit. Yeah, I reckon on this at this time I'm thinking of saving. Yeah. I better save now than later. I've been kidding this game for a bit now, I'm not gonna lie, like. But I'm getting really really um what's the word? It's really difficult to I can't save the fucking game. What? What oh, is this? Oh, my uncle. Rebellion! Okay, we got that one. There was a fucking flying twat around here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Oh, shit. At this point, am I just stealing off people? That's what I want to know. Is that what's happening? Rebellion. Oh, a potion of some sort. This is interesting. Okay. That's... Um, I'm stuck. We were just talking about you. What the fuck were you saying? Oh, that was good tea. Hello? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. Oh, I should like to thank you. you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's Wizardware, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. Oh, yes. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Um, no, sir. That's far too generous. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. I am fucking uh, now, taking now let's it. Let's try this on for size, shall we? Wait, what? Don't Let make me, me look like a twat. Today, take your time. Wait. Ooh. That that's that's not bad actually. That with a horde, we're laughing. Can I have that? Pl it costs fucking how much? You're giving me... You're giving me something I already have. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, whatever. I... I have the exact same... What do you, It's the exact same. There's nothing different... Different... A turn. So we have gloves. This looks interesting. What's this? 
Wait, no, 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 no. Don't even fucking buy it. Let me see it first. Uh, no. I like that. It's like a trench coat. I like a good trench coat. Thanks for giving me... What an extraordinary introduction to Hulkmeet. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. No. Wonderful. Just down this way then. No. I'm sorry, I... I, I... sell even more battle-worthy items. Revelio, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to my shop at your leisure. Shut up. You gave me a gift of literally the exact same jacket I have on. What was the point? What Assuming was the... it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Can I just, uh. Love you, sir. Man, this is some bullshit. Why can't I. Can't even pick a chair up. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. I recognize Who's this that child. What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. You only just realized that Quickly, now? Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. You didn't even notice that? That it was him? It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Hi. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Well, that's great, because I've got no money. <laughs> I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Oh, dear. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Well, I can. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Mm. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. 
I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. You, you, you think? Do you know what would be a good idea? If we could just, you know, potentially, you know, take, take like one of these brooms and fucking fly. Okay, so I don't want to worry you, but I think we should just completely fucking parkour it, because the shit's getting dark quick. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should... Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Radio. Select hard quartz on your... Okay. Oh. Oh right, yeah. That'd make a bit of, bit of sense. Bit of, bit of beer. Bit of cheese on toast. Okay, so... Where's my room? Is this my room? No. Where's my room? Okay. So the game is real. I do enjoy the game. I think the game's really good. I just think there's an issue with me recording it, and I don't know. I think it's a bit seems to be a bit jumpy, guys. So I do apologize. It has been really bad. I don't know why. Hopefully, the next episode won't be as bad. I mean, it's just weird. There we go. Please, I just want to fly a broom. Before I have to end this episode, let me fly a broom. I just want to fly around. I want to be able to go out, do my own thing, and fly around. Let me do that. Give me that. I need this. Is this my owl? Oh, well. You've got mail. What is this? Come and see me. Discovered something in the lock. You found it. Mm -hmm. Radio. Oh, I just want to learn how to fucking fly. Okay. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be... It's going to be a bit of time before I even fly. So, yeah. At this point, I'm starting to think of just saving the game and waiting patiently. Ooh, let's see if there's a mermaid here. Fishies, fishies. Wait, what the hell? I love that music. The music's quite nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a break. Just keep doing that and a break. Let's go, 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 <laughs> oh. Can I at least sit down? I have a wand. Oi, oi. I have a wand. <laughs> hey, hey. Psst. You know I have a wand. You wanna see my wound? <laughs> oh, fuck it, I'll do it now. Don't ask. I suppose I'm not allowed up there. What the hell? Why not? I can't go up there. He's 
world is a lie. Okay, fine, I won't. Jeez. Well, you know what? Disrespect. Oh, shit. Uh. uh Repair her. That hopefully worked. I hope so. I didn't do it. I swear. I didn't break it. I don't understand. How nice to see you, my young friend. What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Hello. Yes, yes. Um. Get to this location where he is. Move. Oh, bitch. Hang on, hang on. Um, I need to be careful or the game will end up crashing on me. Okay. I just. Oh, it's driving me. Right, this is taking a piss now. Come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Give me a fucking broom. I want a broom. I want a broom. <laughs> oh, Monique. Um. Wait a second. Revelio. I can smell. Okay. You guys stop rubbing it in. Just because you can find a fucking broom. Stop it! Uh, oh, yeah, 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 stairs. I forgot stairs exist. They are real. Oh my days. Why are you lagging? Do you know what? <laughs> yeah, no. What is this? Do I really have to wait? Right, seems that we're here. And we've got to wait. I reckon I'll leave this episode here, guys. Honestly. I haven't really talked that much, I know I haven't, but the thing is, I don't want to talk over and blur out any, you know, important information, like if you guys are following along with the story, I don't want to ruin it, so I'm trying to just enjoy it, mainly, but it's hard, because I do want to speak and I'm like, ah, it's hard, kind of situation, but yeah, hopefully, you know, I can speak a bit more, and hopefully, we can get our uh, fucking broom. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna look at some of this. See you guys later. Bye bye.